You know those kids in elementary school that talk so much that the teacher had to move them around the classroom? Well, I was the quiet kid that those kids got sat next to, <laughs> and everybody knew it. I was always so shy, and every time I tried something new, I was like, I'm going to be outgoing, and I'm going to be popular, I'm going to make all these friends, high school, camp, middle school, college, and it never happened. Not that I never made friends, it just took me a really long time to warm up to people. After college, I was kind of nervous, because they say it's harder to make friends as an adult, and I was like, well, I wasn't even good at it before. <laughs> but it's true, I mean, when you don't have school, proximity, forming entire relationships on the basis of liking to drink, it takes a lot more effort to spend time with someone and get to know someone as an adult. So I started going to therapy, and one of the things that I want to work on was my anxiety around social situations. And my therapist gave me an assignment that week and was like, you need to go out of your comfort zone and ask people what they're doing on the weekend and take like any hint of an invitation that you get, you need to jump on it. <laughs> so there was this girl at work named Chelsea and I had my eye on her. <laughs> and I feel like we shared a lot of similar interests, like maybe she would like to hang out with me. And it really felt like I was trying to date her except we weren't trying to see each other naked. But I was like, tr I would like find excuses to like send her a DM on Instagram and like talk to her. And then one day she mentioned that she had found this Groupon for this Korean spa. And I was like, oh, I'd totally be down to do that. Like, let's go. <laughs> so on the day of, I was really nervous because I was like, okay, we're, this is the first time we're hanging out outside of work. And it made me extremely nervous and that's why I was in therapy. And I was like, I need to put in together like a cute outfit. So I wore like this bathing suit and these like wide leg pants and a, and a little sweater, like that spa, I do this all the time vibe is what I was trying to <laughs> give. So uh, we met up and we got to the spa and we check into the women's locker room. And I can't help but notice there are signs everywhere that say no bathing suits in the hot tubs. You have to be completely naked, take a shower in front of everyone, and then get into the hot tub area. Now, I had figured that some people would be nude at this Korean spa, because it's common in Korean spa, and also in spas in countries all over the world um, that don't have these, like, that don't sexualize everything and have these terrible views on, like, the naked female body. But I didn't grow up in one of those countries. <laughs> So I ignorantly thought that maybe you had the option to wear a bathing suit, but you did not. So we had come this far, and the like hot tub area looked so cool and inviting. I was like, okay, I guess we have to go. So we got naked and took a shower, no like, you know, blocks or anything in front of everyone, and got into the hot tub. And then we saw someone in the locker room, and it was our boss's wife. I was like, how many colleagues are going to see me naked today? <laughs> like, I'm already nervous. This is our first time hanging out, and we've already done way more <laughs> than I thought we were going to do. And she was nervous, too. She was like, well, that would be really weird if she comes in here. Like, do we acknowledge her? And I was like, I'm not acknowledging her. She barely knows me. But she ended up skipping out the hot tub part and going to the fully clothed sauna area, or steam room area. Um, which was good, because it suddenly made Chelsea and I's situation feel a lot less awkward. Like, it could be way worse. <laughs> and we ended up getting, like, pretty comfortable and having a great time. Uh, King Spa in Niles, I highly recommend it. <laughs> and as I looked around this room of naked women in a non-creepy way, I saw friends, sisters, mothers, daughters, and I realized how important it was for me to get out of my comfort zone because friendship, especially female friendship, is so important. And ever since then, Chelsea and I have become great friends. We've gone back to the spa multiple times. <laughs> and we even started a podcast together, which I consider to be the pinnacle of millennial friendship. So I don't think my therapist would officially say getting naked is a great way to break the ice with a new friend. But in this case, it worked. Thank you.